Today we're going to talk about using source control in collaboration. So instead of starting with the technical details, we're going to tell a simple story about Holly, the super web developer. Yes, that's not a dress Holly's wearing, that is a cape. Yeah, once you see it, you'll never unsee it. And Jim, the graphic designer. Holly and Jim want to tell their love of cats to the world. After all, the internet needs more websites about cats. So Holly starts off the project and builds a bunch of skeleton files for the website. She zips those files and sends them over to Jim. Now, they're working together, they're collaborating, and it come time to launch the website. So Holly takes all of her files, zips them up, and sends them to the server. Well, Jim, the perfectionist that he is, goes and modifies a few files, sends them up to the server, modifies a few more, finds a better image of a kitten for the homepage banner, sends that one up there too, while Holly makes a major change to the site, uploads all the files to the server, and we lose all of Jim's files. So there's just utter chaos here, as these two are basically fighting to push files up to the server. So there's got to be a better way than dealing with this chaos. So that's where a program called Git comes in. What Git will do is it will allow us to push files over and receive the changes back. So Jim can push a new banner image over and receive the new script changes that Holly has made. Now, this also allows us to have updated files all the time. So at any time, Jim or Holly can push all the files up to the server and know they have the latest versions.